to everyone. Uh, this is Rupesh. Okay, I am a SAP PM plan maintenance online trainer. Okay, and this is my number. Anyone can be in touch with me with respect to EAM S4 on a PM plan maintenance online training. Okay, let's uh, go on to the topics we are going to see. Okay, so the topics we are going to see is here creation of work order and the steps is to be followed and notification and maintenance how can be carried for the equipment and also for the functional location without equipment. Also the types of cost we are going to see priorities, bill of material bomb, reservation PR, how it is generated, and also the PRT part, okay? Fine, let's go to the system, okay? So the T code to create the work order is IW31, okay? Okay, while creation the work order, we need to decide what uh, process, maintenance process we are going to carry, okay? So let's take a general PM01 maintenance order. Okay, fine. So there is something called priority. Okay, with the priorities, your maintenance dates can be changed. When you need to start, whether early or urgency, or you can take late. That dates come according to the priorities. Okay? Let me keep high. Okay, so now let me take the equipment okay let me take a equipment for which we are going to do here maintenance okay so the equipment number is this okay the equipment number is this okay so i'm giving the equipment press enter okay this is nothing but the object info screen okay object info screen gives how many notifications are created for this particular equipment okay so press enter okay so give the short description okay general maintenance for for equipment right okay give the work center and the plant okay so this is how to create a general work order okay so here the priority is given high okay since it is given high it had taken the start from today and the finish is from tomorrow is from tomorrow so the dates from where the dates are getting picked from there this dates are getting picked okay it is coming from the spr it is coming from the spr okay let's see here okay it's coming from plant maintenance customer service maintenance service processing maintenance and service order okay general tag here the priorities are coming from if you go and see there are th these are the priority types okay priority types to be created generally pm okay and then back and then the priority type for each order type okay pm1 okay so we took very high so it is today date release start re relative start end is tomorrow so that's what we got the date today and tomorrow okay so and this this priority type to be assigned to our orders okay this is the standard config for the uh, priority okay if you see pm01 okay so for pm0 this pm priority type so this is a small config with respect to the priorities for the work order okay now now we'll see the next step okay so now according to the dates the priority is coming now i am changing the priority here whether the dates will change no it won't change the dates will only trigger while you are keeping the priority in iw31 if you keep accordingly in the iw31 with respect to your priorities your dates will change see here 23 and 5 but if you come and change here it won't change this is the logic for the priority and also we had completed the configuration for that okay now this is the equipment for which you are going to carry the maintenance okay so go to the operation list the maintenance effectives you are then you can give bearing check okay bearing check 
and lube oil check and like that okay so for this i need two resources and they are going to work for two hours okay if i press enter i am getting information maintain work for calculation so how this work is getting calculated it is getting calculated from the calculation key okay so this should be at work this should be at work okay this is coming from the configuration backend configuration if you press enter the work is getting calculated the work is getting calculated okay if you go to the cost tab okay there is no work now let's come to the operation okay so change your work center to electric i will tell you the reason okay now give the work one labor and three hours okay and check whether this is work okay keep us work now the work is calculated right now save the work order now save the work order okay so there is a mandatory field will come and put here anyone's name right come back okay save the work order okay go and open the work order right if you come here now if you see the plant cost is coming okay that is labor cost from where this labor cost is getting triggered from where this labor cost is getting triggered it is triggered from the work order okay from the work order costing tab okay open another screen okay so t code for work center is year 03 okay this is the work center go to the costing tab in the costing tab there should be activity type there should be activity type and the formula sap008 this formula sap008 is a standard formula for the calculation of our labor cost for our work order okay so this activity type what is this activity type is related to okay this activity type is nothing but the different labors they are working mason painter technician okay technician right so each people will have different cost right 100 us dollars and the painter may have 200 us dollars and the technician may have 300 us dollars this mason painter and technician are nothing but your activity types okay so that should be entered mandatory in your cost center and your formula should be there after this this hundred dollars where is set up in the system that is set up at the transaction code kp26 that is set up at the transaction code kp26 okay go to t code kp26 actually this is a fa activity but as a pm consultant we should know mandatory okay go here give version zero okay and from period you can put january now this month is 12th and the year is 2020 and take the cost center is 4300 okay 4300 and the activity type is for five hours is 1410 okay 1410 if you go and say there is cost okay there is cost from here only this cost is picked in our work order from here only the cost is picked in our work order how the plant labor cost is coming your work center costing tab activity type and formula and then kp26 translation code hope everyone are clear okay this is how the labor cost is getting cleared okay work center activity type and kp26 fine now let's go to the next step okay so i hope this is a work order mostly okay yeah okay so the work is calculated so you are getting the plan cost right so i am saving this is the plan cost actually that is a plan cost okay so when the actual cost comes when you do the confirmation when you do the confirmation will get the actual cost okay so go to iw41 okay go to iw41 enter the activity 0020 or activity number right 
okay we are ready to release the worker so go to iw32 just release your worker okay without releasing you cannot do the confirmation okay save the work order so the work order is in release stage now right now you can carry your confirmation it will get saved okay now go to iw41 t code for the confirmation give the second activity right so your original work is three hours final confirmation no remaining work okay press enter no error just save it your work order is number is double seven three right go to double seven three right iw32 okay go to the cost tab see the actual cost is coming so this is what plan and actual cost okay Plan cost is just planning and the actual cost comes when your original activity is completed. So now you come to know how the labor cost is getting triggered. Labor cost is getting triggered from your work order, work, work center, activity type and formula along with the KP26. Okay. Now you are clear how the labor cost is completed. Okay. And also what is the what is the plan cost and also what is the actual cost okay okay now now okay okay now labor cost is completed right there is something called settlement rule there is something called settlement rule okay so what is settlement rule okay settlement rule is the rule we are doing which is mandatory which is the destination place where your cost is going to settle which is the destination place where your cost from the PM to the FI will be settled. This is just a destination place. Okay. And this field, periodic and full, very, very important. Okay. Take an example. What is periodic and full settlement? Okay. Periodic settlement may be sometime you have 100, 100 work orders in your system, 100 work orders. And 90, all the work is completed, remaining 10 work orders pending. But today date is month and 30th. Okay. So finance team is telling I need to the cost to settle everything till today date. Okay. So what you do, you cannot close the remaining 10 because still the work is continuing. During that time, the settlement, what you are doing is called as periodic settlement. During that time, the settlement, what you are doing is called as the periodic settlement. Okay, and when you finish everything and you do the settlement, that is called the final settlement. Okay, no further activities is pending, that is called the full settlement. These are the types of settlement types. Okay, very important. Okay, types of settlement. Okay, and your sender is your work order, and your receiver is your cost center. Cost center is not the only receiver, there are many other receivers like GL account. Order also you can settle, WBC, which is a project order, asset, etc. Okay. So the sender is work order and the receivers are the sender. Okay. So you need to decide the receiver according to the business and also the finance people. Okay. Very, very important settlement rule. Right. So we'll be back. Okay. So confirmation is completed. Okay. So we had got PCNF. We'll, why the PNF is not coming? Okay. Because we did completion only for one line item. Okay. So we'll do the confirmation for a second. Right. So go to IW41. Okay. First line item. Okay. Okay. So no remaining work. Final, final confirmation. Press enter. No error. Save it. Right. Okay. Now see the work order. Okay. okay, go to T code IDP32. So, still this is partially confirmed because only for two lighting items confirmation is done. Okay, still, okay. Okay, 
still one line item the confirmation is not done because you had entered the line activity you change the control key as pm01 right okay save it okay after saving do the confirmation again okay okay save it okay order is saved so do the confirmation for third line item okay okay nothing so just confirm it okay save it there is nothing but just to show the confirmation step i am doing this okay now go to the book order i have 32 or 33 anything is same you see you get the confirmed so confirmation is done and settlement is also done settlement rule okay we did the settlement rule right but we didn't say maybe right so period okay and save it okay now we need to do the techo right because confirmation is done okay now we can see whether where the cost is there to be settled okay you can come to the cost of go to this release plan button okay if you see here the actual cost is 84 okay here the actual cost is 84 take this snapshot okay 84 is there right this cost in the plan now i'm going to do the original settlement okay i k zero eight okay k zero double eight okay k o eight eight right so this is our order this is the period our period is 12 test run okay so there is cost what is the cost our cost 84 is pending right see here 84 okay so what i did last is a test run okay the cost is not settled remove the button do the original settlement do the original settlement okay now back go to your work order i think i removed it just let me do again yeah it's done now go to the work order go to the cost tab go to lease and plan c the cost is zero got it so this is the only way in the work order you can see whether the cost is settled or not okay so here the cost is zero and it came to plan variant this is the place where you can see the cost is settled for the work order or not this is the this is the general step in a work order process this is the general step in a work order process see here okay create work order operations release okay confirmation techo and settlement okay now we'll see little how the pr and how the we had completed plan and actual cost priorities we had completed okay now we'll see the reservation and pr from the pm perspective how the pr and the reservation is getting generated okay so go back okay in the operation tab there is a button okay called as release and purchase immediate okay if in case you don't want release or pr to be generated you don't want for that work order means you can keep pr never if in case you don't require but generally the client processes it will be in release stage so after release only your pr and reservation will get generated you can double click this button okay 
you can double click this button and you can come and see here in the actual data okay you will get the resolution or the pr number actually this is okay operation sorry here should be the tab over here right so if you have the material okay if you have the material okay so it is already saved right okay i am saving this okay Okay, come to the component tab. If you double click, here you can come and see the reservation number. This reservation number is generated with respect to your purchase request in this condition. Okay, immediate from release. Okay, that's what I showed here in the operation tab. Okay, this one. So this is one of the point. Then, then. Work order can be done only for the function location without equipment. There is no difference. Everything the same. Okay, we'll see. Decode the CMT code. Enter only the function location. Okay, enter only the function location. You can create your work order. Okay, there is no difference in it. In the means, your maintenance is only from for with respect to this function location. and not for any equipment that also can be done okay this is one information purpose now we'll see the estimated cost there is a cost called estimated cost okay estimated cost is only for information and not for any process planned actual nothing cost comes inside this estimated cost okay so how the estimated cost plays here this is the tab for your estimated cost in the work order header tab below notification okay also in the cost tab you can see the estimated cost here okay now now the order is not in release stage right i can enter my edit cost and estimate cost again i can enter now see i am going release here also if you see it is editable because i entered now here i can modify now you see i am releasing the work order the estimated cost will become non editable so after release estimated cost is non editable after release it is non editable this is very important point after release the estimated cost is cannot be editable okay so this is one information i will save the work order okay i will save the work order it is asking the reported by field okay so give the reported by field save the work order okay save the work order now we'll see okay bom bill of material and purchase prt production resource tax what is bill of material bill of material is nothing but the spare parts okay bill of material is nothing but the spare parts there are three types of bomb equipment function location and material bomb right material bomb from the pm perspective okay so the equipment bomb can be created with the t code ib01 ib01 okay the equipment bomb can be created with the t code I B zero one, okay. Can be created the T code I B zero one, right? So I'll take this equipment. Here the usage is very very important. The usage is very very important. According to the usage only, you will come to know this bomb is for our P M or P P or P M, okay? So your usage is very important. Press enter, okay. actually already bomb exist okay so i am not editing it i am going to use the same bomb bomb is nothing but the spare parts the materials required for our maintenance important thing from the pm perspective the material category item category used are stock and non stock okay so let me take create a work order for this equipment right go to iw31 give your equipment number press enter Okay. 
So I had material in the bomb, right? For this equipment. How I can pull the bomb in the work order? Go to the operation tab, component tab, click the button list. Click the button list. This is the way how you can pull your materials from bomb. But the bomb should be created before itself. Okay, the bomb should be bill of material should be created in advance. Okay, so click the list, you will get the list of materials set up as bomb for your equipment. Take your bill of material. Actually, there is issue with the material issue. Okay, so you can take some other C. Okay, so this is what bill of material. Okay, this is how the bomb is added in your work order to the list button through the list button and the next topic we are going to see is okay prt the next topic we are going to see is prt okay so save the work order okay so save the work order fine save the work order okay okay now we are going to see how to create equipment and what is prt okay prt is nothing but the production resource tool production resource tool okay production resource tool is nothing but the object that will be required during your maintenance for example multimeter mega vibration meter this and all are the prt tools okay so the two types of PRT tools are equipment and document PRT. Okay, equipment and the document PRT. The two types of PRTs are in the system are equipment and the document PRT. Okay, equipment and document PRT. Okay, PRT, equipment and document prt okay so the t code to create the equipment prt is the same ie01 give the tool as p equipment category should be p presenter give the prt name okay since this is a prt tool you need you will see this prt tab here usage give 009 okay 009 okay so come to location give the maintenance plan always okay which is mandatory right so which is key for our pm okay save this save this okay so the prt i created is this one right keep in our database keep in our database okay so this is the PRT I created. Now let's see how to use this PRT in the work order, right? IW32, press enter, okay. Go to the operation tab. See the button PRT here down. See the button PRT here down. Click this. Click the equipment tab. You will get this. Copy our PRT. And you need to give the usage. Okay, usage is mandatory. Enter the control key. Enter the control key. Okay, control key is mandatory. Okay, give all functions. Copy. Okay, copy. So this is how the PRT is added in the work order equipment PRT. Okay, equipment PRT. So uh, this is what about the PRT, right? So we had seen a general process, everything we had covered, okay? And we can we see how without equipment with the function equation, whether the maintenance can be carried, yes. And we had seen the plan cost, actual cost, estimated cost in detail, priorities and also the configuration, how to create bomb and how the bomb is pulled in the work order. Also, we had seen something related to the reservation and PR, also the PRT. Now we'll see the configuration from where this reservation is coming. That is this one. We are going to see this one from here it is coming. Okay. 
go to spro okay go to spro okay maintains pm and customer service maintains and service process maintains and service order functions and settings okay this is the place this is the place where your peer and reservation condition is coming from see here from here only that is coming configuration back and configuration okay so that also we had seen okay then then if in case okay you are thinking for pm02 order type for pm02 order type okay okay we'll take pm01 i need only m2 as my notification mandatory mandatory i need m2 conditionally for any pm01 order type same note here only under functions and setting open definition and order integration come inside go to pm01 it is m1 i am changing to m2 press enter save it create a work order okay create a work order pm01 give the planning plan c it is taking automatically if you open it will be m2 because in the configuration it kept as m2 i am saving this notification plus order out is created go on see right m2 okay this is m2 right so go back and save it this is the general work order process we had seen okay so anyone need training on sap eam enterprise asset management s4 on a pm plan maintenance you can be in touch with me this is my name s rupesh 8006081619 please be in touch thank you guys bye for the day have a great day